Hi year four, this is the video for Wednesday the 20th of January for group one and this is your statistics. So have a go at writing out your times tables. Give yourself about five minutes so you can pause the video while you do that and then when you've done about five minutes you can press play and we'll move to the next slide. So, can you recall a number fact? What is this sequence counting in? 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. So, work out what the sequence is counting in. So, if you've worked out that it's counting in 20, you would be very right. And then see if you can continue the sequence. So what would the next three numbers in this sequence be? Okay, so you should have 220, 240, and then 260. Right, so we've got two graphs here. See if you can work out what the missing numbers on the scales are. So having a look at the first graph on the left, if you have a look at the x-axis, which is the axis that goes across the bottom, the horizontal axis, axis sorry, see if you can work out what the missing, what the missing number is. Write that down. And then have a look on the y-axis. So the, the axis that goes up, that's vertical. There's a missing number there. See if you can work out what it's counting in and work out what the missing number is. So going across the bottom, the x-axis, the missing number is 60 because it is counting in 20s across the bottom. And then having a look at the y-axis, the axis that goes up, that is vertical, it is counting in fives, so the missing number there is 275. Well done if you got those right. Okay, turn your attention to the second graph, which is on the right. And this is a graph showing the height of students. So each, each bar of the, of the um, graph represents a few numbers. So it's like a range of numbers. So it's not just one number. It represents a few numbers. So the first bar is any height under 130 centimetres. The second scale goes from 130 centimeters to 134 then there's a missing scale and then the one after says 140 to 144 centimeters now what you need to do is work out what the numbers in between 134 and 140 are, and write those down. So you should have 135 to 139. Well done if you got that one right. Then having a look at the second scale that's missing numbers, the one before it says 150 to 154. So just remember 154 there. And then the scale after that missing scale says 160 and more. So the number we need to think about there is 160. So we need to work out the numbers between 154 and 160 so jot those down so you should have 155 to 159
Well done, year four. Okay, here is a graph showing different fruit that children like. So have a look at the key on the left hand side. Each one, each one picture of a banana represents two children. So two children have picked that fruit as their favourite fruit. So each banana is two children. Each one bunch of grapes is two children. And the same for apple and the same for pear. So overall, having a look at this graph, which fruit is the favourite fruit? Which fruit have most children picked? Okay, well done if you have identified banana is the favourite fruit. Now see if you can work out how many children picked banana as their favourite fruit. Now there's five bananas there, but remember that each banana represents two children. Well done if you worked out that there are 10 children that picked banana as their favourite fruit. Okay, how many people chose apples as their favourite fruit? So remember, each apple represents two children. So there's four apples. What would be the times table question that we could write to work this out? Four times something. Well done if you put four times two. Four apples times two children equals eight. So there's eight children that chose apples as their favourite fruit. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. How many more chose apples than grapes as their favourite fruit? So we can see that from the graph, we have got one picture of grapes. So that represents two children. And there are five bananas, which makes 10 children. So if we worked out 10 take away something, that would give us the answer. Have a go at that now. Okay, so if we do 10 bananas, take away two grapes, that would give us eight. So there are eight children who chose, eight more children who chose bananas than grapes as their favourite fruit. Okay, what if each piece of fruit stood for four children now instead of two? How many children chose pears as their favourite fruit? So there are three pears on the chart. And if each one pear is four children, how many children chose pears? And what would that times table question be? It would be three pears times children. Okay, you should have four times three to work out how many children liked pears. And you should have obviously 12 as your answer. Okay, so now, can you think of your own questions to go with this data? See if you can write two questions down about this data. And then have a go at answering your own questions. Okay, so your activity is on Seesaw and it is looking at two different sets of data. Now, the thing to remember about this data is that each little circle on the netball team represents five games. Whereas for the football team, it represents three. So when you're adding the different 
the different questions and you're trying to work out the answer, make sure that you remember that netball, each icon is five games and for football it's three. Don't let that trick you. So there are just two questions there. The second question says explain how you know. See if you can write a couple of sentences to explain your answer. And then for your challenge, see if you can write at least five questions of your own for this data. Okay, well done everybody. Good luck and I look forward to seeing your fabulous work. Bye for now.